So 70 years ago, as we came out of the Holocaust and World War II, there really was no track record. There was no international or national institution that had uh, its authority to uh, judge the crimes that had been committed on the scale, the enormity that existed during, that occurred during the Holocaust. And the Nuremberg trials laid the groundwork then for future efforts at accountability in the coming decades. Had we left international justice to governments, we wouldn't see international, we wouldn't see mechanisms to hold people accountable for crimes against humanity. It was the civil society movements in support of accountability attempts to end impunity for war crimes, for crimes against humanity that led to this transformation. The various instruments and mechanisms for international justice to date have been uh, spotty uh, in terms of their uh, effectiveness. Uh, they, they, they're very expensive um, and working through the rules of engagement and the, the, the standards has been a, a, a wrenching exercise. As, as we try to bring various legal systems together into one legal system, there's a lot of negotiation that goes on and thus it's left with a very uh, cumbersome, usually fairly cumbersome uh, system. And so the um, International Criminal Court is a, is a perfect rep, uh, example of that. Just like any other institution internationally, the International Criminal Court has been caught up in, in politics and the international advocates of these justice mechanisms continue to strive to improve the effectiveness of the court systems, um, but they are facing quite an opposition uh, internationally by governments particularly who want so sovereignty to be, to remain the centerpiece of the international system and do not want these efforts in international justice to be able to imp imp impinge upon that sovereignty. Well, I think the, the wheels of international justice grind very, very slowly and they don't go in a linear fashion, they don't go in a straight line. So when I look forward 30 years, I, 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 I see a lot of hope. I think there is a tremendous civil society movement, global movement that supports international justice. I see uh, increasingly innovative strategies pursued by advocates for international justice, uh, which not only deal with legal accountability, but also for financial accountability, going after the assets of war criminals and using legal instruments and other policy tools to create a consequence for the commission of these crimes. So I'm, I'm relatively optimistic about in the medium to longer term, a few decades ahead, the, the photograph of today's picture for international justice efforts is not a pretty one. But I think these, the pendulum swings and I think we're going to see, as a result of this extraordinary global civil society movement, the pendulum swinging again in favor of international justice mechanisms and accountability mechanisms in the future.